Well, a college education may seem out of reach for you, but it doesn't have to, and you need an education first and how to go about obtaining a scholarship. So Pamela Westbrooks Hodge is here to talk to about this, the Scholarship Solution. It's a pro program that she established with her nephew in 2003. Welcome. Thank you, Christine. I um, love the history behind all this. Yeah, about 10 years ago, um, my nephew was ready. He was academically strong. He had the great test scores, but we didn't have the money to fund his college of choice, which was Morehouse College. Wow, and so he would have probably slipped through the cracks if you, if you didn't do your homework and your research and figure out what it takes to find this money. Absolutely, and admittedly, we had a few misfires, uh -huh. um, but we uh, galvanized our efforts, we uh, created a great structured process, and it is that process that we share with families, uh, with other families today through books and through workshops. Yeah, it, it, it's so great. And you actually have some resources that people can take advantage of the scholarship solution. Absolutely. And it, it kind of gives you the guide through what you have to do. Absolutely. And it doesn't, it doesn't end or start with just academic achievement. There's a lot more that goes into it, right? Absolutely. We, we talk about a, a great scholarship research process. It begin, really begins with understanding your four-year goal I like to quote Stephen Covey, beginning with the end in mind. Yes. In mind, you have to understand what your goals are. You have to understand what your strategy is. If you're um, uh, a great athlete, then you pursue athletic scholarships. If you're a scholar, you pursue academic, academic scholarships. Right, and if you're entering high school, you know, one of the first things you probably want to do is get involved in some extracurricular activities. You know, do some things to get on a resume that look like, you know, I'm a person that reaches out to the community. I'm a whole person. It's not just about academics. Absolutely. One of the things we tell our students is that um, community organizations are making an investment in you. And so the reason we ask about your community involvement is so we can right. make sure that you are a good investment. See, and I don't know that everybody always knows that, and I'm not so sure how many high school counselors are up to speed on that, you know, by really pushing that with students, you know, to, to get involved and to have a full resume. I can tell you we've seen a tremendous uptick good. in the amount of, 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 of schools that are engaged in helping their, uh, their students get connected to community um, community involvement opportunity. Well, that's terrific. Along with some federal grants, uh, your nephew ended up being a doctor. He is a doctor. I have to pinch <laughs> myself. I can't believe it, but uh, Dr. Brandon Taylor, about uh, Normandy that? graduate class of 2003, St. Louis University, uh, med school graduate 2011, and I forgot about the college in there. Yeah. Morehouse, Morehouse College graduate uh, class of 2000. And, and in the end, about eighty thousand dollars plus of money from scholarship, scholarship money. Yeah. So, so I can take credit for about eighty-two. He got about <laughs> um, another twenty in grants. But Brandon actually secured a lot of scholarship money also on his own through doing research, et cetera, once he was in undergraduate school. What a great success story. Yeah. I mean, and do you think that, that he would have ended up um, going to Morehouse and everything? I mean, if you, if you hadn't done all this, I mean, think about it. I mean, you dug I in deep and you've credit. done the work. <laughs> well, you should take a lot of credit because you dug in for a lot of other people, too. So, you know, it's, you do have to fill out a lot of applications. There's a lot of work. But that's really, in the end, it becomes sort of the easy part of it. The, the easy part is finding the lead. The hard part is applying the process to complete so many applications right. and volume. So our process provides a structured means by which families can uh, a, apply for a large number of scholarships. Yeah, because you'll find money that you never knew was out there, right? Exactly. And you can help people actually find that. You got it. That's terrific. So you really have to strap in with your student, you know, figure it out, you know, define what it is you're going after, and then start building on that so that you're ready to go. Christine, you've got the process. <laughs> <laughs> I could have written the book. That's right. <laughs> but you did, and you can find that online. And so you can go on our, uh, our website at mm -hmm. kpr11.com, and we will link you to your website so you can figure out all about this. It's information on the scholarship solution. So it's a terrific idea, and everybody who ha wants to get to college and would like to be a success like her nephew should take advantage of it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so us. much, Christine. Still ahead,